What's poppin'? It's Mello back at you with another video. And today I'm doing something that I've never seen done on the tube before, which I'm, I'm even though I haven't seen it, somebody's probably done it, but I'm gonna say nobody's ever done this before. I'm gonna sample some video game beats. That's what we're doing. We're gonna sample some video game music. It's gonna be from the, you know, from the old era. We talking like, you know, the 90s and stuff like that. Before we get to it, please put a like on the video. Let's get it. This is gonna be the first thing we work with. So you already know what to do, man. We gonna head on over to Google, download YouTube to MP3, and we are going to convert this. We're gonna delete this APK because you know, they be trying to get your computer oh. and all that stuff. Oh man, it's trying to download this as slow as possible. This is crazy, but so 15 years later, we got it. I'm going to alt tab and drag this joint in here because you know the new window. Oh, and it's nothing, it's nothing. Like what, what, what is that? What did I just download? The perils of downloading audio. So we trying again. All right, so we got one that works, so we're good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is trim this, so boom, we did that. Actually, I'm gonna do it in Edison, man. I'm not about to do it the YouTuber way, not for this one at least. I'm gonna put it on loop. That's a perfect loop. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna drag this, boom. We got one loop right there. Perfect loop as well, we drag that, boom. So we got two right there. Now I want the hook part because the hook is the best part. If you didn't know, this song is actually a song made by a group called the Jetsons with a Z and it's very dope, it's very dope song from the 80s it's a whole story behind this to like where oh michael jackson was working on it and this is like michael jackson's composer one of his producers and da, 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 all this stuff sonic was supposed to make music for sonic 3 and it just never happened so that that's you know you got to check out the story that's perfect boom so we put another one out there drag and drop Can't avoid the click and drag it in there. So boom, we got the sample. This is what I'm gonna do for all of these. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna push the time. We're gonna push two bars. So now with each of these, it's gonna fit perfectly as far as the stretch. So boom, we got a perfect loop. I'm gonna save this and render it. So quick game for you. If you want to delete multiple samplers, you know, you select them however you select them by dragging or even you can hold shift and press individual ones however you want to do it. But once you have them selected, hold alt, then press delete on your computer. It'll get rid of all of them. So boom, we got that. Another tip. If you got Edison open with a big piece of audio, that will make your session a lot larger when you go to save it. So I'm just gonna delete the whole Edison because the audio will be saved in your Edison. Now, if you don't care, that's something you can do to keep the song so you never lose the song and stuff like that. It'll be ingrained into the session and stuff like that. And it's possible that it could be stored somewhere on the data end as far as a different wave. I'm not sure, but I do know that raises the size of files as far as FLPs. So now I'm gonna drag the sample in, boom. We'll take it over here. Now the question is, how do I wanna freak this? Put them on the same channel. The first thing we do is half time them. Kinda like that. I'm gonna pitch it up to see how that sounds, so. I don't like 300, let's do something else. 200 is good. So this is what I'm gonna do as well. I'm only, just to, just to keep it a little more gutter, 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 I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take that second half for the first part of the loop out and just loop the first part, so. We got that. I'm gonna do a little bit of freaky stuff to the sample, so I'm gonna put a ensemble on it. This is free from the Kilo Hearts. What is that shit, real? And 
and I'm gonna hit it with a filter too. All right, I may put some different composition stuff over it, but that's what we're rocking with for now. I'm gonna hit it with some drums. Yeah, and we gonna loop this right here. Get a little more clip on that, so we gonna take the scar clip. I'm definitely gonna compose some stuff over this to fill it out a little bit more, but we good on the drums for the first part. Let's do the second part. So what we going to do for this, we going to go here. We going to go to patterns and we are going to split by channel and then we are going to move all this out. So now the only thing I got to change is just the 808 pattern. Now we get to do a little bit of composing over this joint. So right now I'm gonna try and find something to like kind of mirror the chords and stuff like that. We just something for the lower register. We are not gonna do a top yet. Keep it real, like I just like the first half, so we gonna get rid of that whole second half. We just gonna get rid of it, like, and just build on this first half. We just adding like a bunch of layers to the chorus for real right now. process those to blend a little bit more with the beat. I told y'all I would be using super massive and in the other joint like in a lot of my beats like I wasn't joking on that free FX video I was not joking the, the joints is dope and that's pretty much the beat
If you want to learn how to sample or you want to learn more about sampling in FL Studio, click this video right here. But if you want to see another cook up similar to this one, check this joint out. I'll see y'all another day, somehow, some way. I'm out.